Hi everybody, John, Tech Geek Tesla. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Today's video is centered around Tesla's recall for autopilot for over 2 million vehicles and why that is actually a good thing. If you own a Tesla, chances are your car is under recall. Tesla is recalling more than 2 million cars. Tesla has announced a recall of more than 2 million vehicles. First of all, before we get started, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see exactly what is changed after the recall. I will be showing the before and after and highlighting exactly how it has been improved in all areas. This recall affects over 2 million vehicles, specifically Model 3s from 2017 to 2023. Model S's from 2012 to 2023, Model X's from 2016 to 2023, and Model Y's from 2020 to 2023. That's basically all of Tesla's cars. The autopilot features are supposed to keep you in your lane, maintain following distance, speed up and brake automatically, and enhance features that can help you make lane changes. The autopilot system doesn't do enough to make sure you're paying attention in case something goes wrong. Specifically, the recall cites the risk of driver misuse. Now, misuse can be classified in many different ways, but essentially it boils down to new users being confused of whether it's on or off, for example. And I have a friend on X that actually documented in, and created some mock-ups surrounding this just to show how Tesla can make it a lot easier for drivers to understand when it is on and when it is off by enabling a novice mode for first-time users. This misuse can also encompass bad actors. You're not seeing things. This guy is sitting in the back seat while his Tesla is driving up and down busy streets on autopilot. If you take the brim of your hat and you lower it down so it covers your eyes, you take your visor and you pull it down and you cover up the in-cabin camera. Isn't this cool? No, not cool, according to the California Highway thing? Patrol, who arrested 25-year-old Param Sharma for reckless driving. Dozens of crashes involving Teslas on autopilot are under investigation, but that doesn't phase him. If you're using it properly on roads that autopilot was designed to be used on, it is definitely not reckless. Tesla says it will release software updates with additional controls and alerts. Now it's important to note that unlike a typical recall with a legacy automaker where a recall would involve you bringing it into the dealer or a service center to have the car repaired or a certain part replaced, you will not have to take your Tesla into the shop. This recall is simply a software update. So you can't really use that same word recall. A lot of Tesla owners cringe when they hear that because they know that it's a very simple fix. In fact, they're very used to doing it already. The Tesla users will download updates over Wi-Fi or cellular all the time in their car from their garage or even while they're driving around. From the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration Notice 23V838, the steering wheel nag on full self-driving may actually get more frequent. Now this wasn't mentioned in the notice, but it's uh, speculated among a lot of users that it's actually going to become more stringent on users and not less frequent as Elon Musk originally mentioned on X. Now, whether it will become more frequent or less frequent, we don't know, but certainly I think they're gonna be bringing more strict features into autopilot. And autopilot is used by the vast majority of cars. Autopilot is now built in as standard when you buy a new Model 3, Model Y, Model X, Model S. This is something previously that you had to pay $3,000 for. Now, there's a lot of different tiers with Tesla software. There's the auto steer, which is kind of advanced. It will stay in its lane. It will uh, maintain the distance between other cars and the speed, and it will brake automatically and do all sorts of different things while you're driving on city streets and highways. And then you have uh, navigate on autopilot, and you also have traffic aware cruise control, which is TACC, and yet uh, another option you have full self-driving. So it's very confusing what the differences are between all of these, and even I get confused. Personally, I don't mind the camera nags to pay attention to the road nearly as much as the steering wheel pressure nags. However, there aren't any specific details released that specify exactly what changes will take place with the over-the-air software update. In a worst case scenario, Tesla will remove the automated driving features from vehicles for a longer period of time 
after a driver misuses the system. With Autopilot and Navigate on Autopilot, if a driver abuses or misuses the technology, ignoring the prompts to pay attention to the road too many times, the software will disable itself for the remainder of the drive. This is not a big deal if you can hop off the highway to put the car in park for, for a brief moment. Once you put the car in park and then back into drive, you can easily re-enable the features. With full self-driving, if a user abuses the repeated warnings three or five times continuously within a short amount of driving distance, that's when the software will be disabled for one week. I can see this same scenario being applied to autopilot for those who continually ignore and or try to cheat the system. As a Tesla owner who uses the automated driving features daily, I've come to depend on the technology, not only for boosted safety, but also for extra driving comfort and confidence. Tesla's uh, CEO, uh, Elon Musk, put out a, a post on X saying that the company has a moral obligation to continue to improve safety systems. But they also make the point, they say that anecdotes of accidents and claims by lawyers are not hard data. And they claim hard data proves that, in fact, safety is emphatically stronger, their words, with autopilot engaged. It's not perfect, but it's a lot safer than me driving all by myself. I think this technology is particularly useful for older people who may not be able to see very well or react as quickly as younger drivers. I have personally spent many hours testing the limits of the in-cabin camera driver monitoring system in my 2019 Model 3. Unlike some of the viral videos you see with drivers coasting down the highway, sleeping at the wheel while driving, this is simply not possible. There used to be some safety defeat devices, however, the software has improved significantly since then. I think this is another reason why so many people, especially non-Tesla owners and those who may be opposed to the company and their cars, are gleaming with joy over this recall. I think this is their way of saying, see, you can't get away with it after all. This can't be further from the truth since this is actually a voluntary recall that was made for the right reasons. As mentioned, it's not like Tesla hasn't implemented any restrictions already to prevent misuse. It just sounds like the controls will be tightened even more to block the bad actors and protect the new users. This won't prevent people from abusing the system entirely, but I believe it will certainly become more difficult to cheat. I also think it's a very positive thing that Tesla has been cooperating with the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, and I believe these steps will definitely help to make the roads a lot safer, especially for novice users and those who try to cheat the system. What I don't like, however, is the perceived negative publicity that this receives, since I think a lot of people are very quick to see these headlines and jump to the conclusion that Tesla is somehow doomed or in big trouble. What you're going to notice is that there's a lot of bad headlines trying to spread fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Here's one perfect example from Car and Driver. There's some bad news for Tesla owners. What you need to know. If you have a Tesla, you may be in trouble. Plus, more Tesla updates for you. And the great thing is if you go down to the comments, there's a whole lot of varied opinion. I just wanted to read some of these to you. Off3157 says, it's a pretty straightforward case of Tesla pretending they did not anticipate user misuse of the system after they sold it as something it was not. Probably requires a civil lawsuit for the fraud. Obvious flaw people have been concerned about for a decade. What took so long? The abusers are the only ones upset over this. Ron9999 says, So if a car maker foresees people will speed and fails to implement technology to limit the vehicle speed to the posted limit, and an accident ensues, the car has a flaw and the automaker is to blame? What about the foreseeable misuse of operating while intoxicated? Will NHTSA mandate that all cars come equipped with breathalyzers? You know, these are fair points here. Uh, J9 Dine says, the flaw was not in the system, it was in the users. Government regulating common sense always works out well really funny is if you scroll down a little bit further in the article there's a number of different recalls for other vehicles and these sound a lot more severe yet they're not making the headlines imagine that you have hondas and acuras under recall for engine stall risk i'm sure that requires some mechanical fix or remedy 
Uh, Toyota recalls 2013 to 2018 RAV4s due to fire risk. So why is it a good thing that this recall is taking place? Well, I've boiled it down to three main reasons. One, it shows that Tesla is cooperative with investigators and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. They don't shy away from regulators or try to ignore or hide from government officials. Two, it shows that Tesla cares about driver safety and that they will do what it takes to make their cars even safer. This is a very positive thing that I have a deep amount of respect for. Three, it shows that Tesla has good ethics. Although it's clearly mentioned in Tesla's manuals along with their terms and conditions for autopilot use, which is still listed as beta, and although it's listed as SAE level two driving, which requires full attention and responsibility from the human, Tesla has chosen to go above and beyond to make their software even safer to use. This is not something that they were required to do. To quote the safety recall report, when auto steer is engaged, as with all SAE level two advanced driver assistance features and systems, the driver is the operator of the vehicle. As the vehicle operator, the driver is responsible for the vehicle's movement with their hands on the wheel at all times, remaining attentive to surrounding road conditions and intervening, which means steering, braking, accelerating, or applying the right drive stock as needed to maintain safe operation. I hope you can agree with me that Tesla's autopilot recall is a very good thing and that it will help make our roads safer. So I'd like to thank Tesla for taking the time to address these issues. Tesla mentioned on their website that if your vehicle is equipped with an in-cabin camera and autopilot hardware three or autopilot hardware four and is running software version 2023, 44, 30 or later, then your vehicle has been remedied and there's no further action that you need to take. You can confirm your vehicle's software version by tapping controls software on your touchscreen or at the bottom of your vehicle's home screen in the Tesla mobile app. As of today, December 13th, 2023, this is not out yet. And you can see that on Teslafy, it has not been deployed, but it, I do expect it will be arriving here within the next day or the next couple of days. But once the latest version comes out, I will be testing it to confirm the differences. So make sure you stay tuned to my channel and subscribe so that you can see the before and after changes. I will be doing my best to document all of those in detail since Tesla is notorious for not outlining exactly what changes have been made to improve safety through their bug fixes within software updates. I'm curious to hear everybody's opinions in the comments. What are your thoughts? Was this a good thing or is this something that Tesla really should have waited before releasing? Thanks for watching and have a great day.